ultimately yesterday I I feel as though it was very much a Monday and today has been better and I am I'm happy about that went to Chick-fil-A with the roommate and just hung out and talked about stuff for an hour which we don't really get to do very often right now because she's so busy and honestly I've been busy when she hasn't been so that was good today is Ragbri in Ames if you don't know what Ragbri is it's the annual event that Iowa hosts it's, I think, sponsored by the Des Moines Register. Basically, cyclists from all over the world come and ride across Iowa. And they camp out in different cities across Iowa every night. And this year, Ames is hosting one of the nights. And so we have thousands of people who aren't normally in Ames camping out in tents, staying in people's houses, that some are in campers, and I, you can either be like, wow, that's so cool, or you can be like, wow, that's so inconvenient for all the people who are trying to get to their jobs and live their lives, and I'm gonna let you figure out which one I think it is. <laughs> Overall, it's a very cool event. It's very uniting of Iowans who are involved in it. It's a cool opportunity for people from across the nation and across the world to see my favorite state in this country and in the middle of one of the most gorgeous months of the year for Iowa. July is just always beautiful whether it's rainy or dry, sunny or cloudy. It's it's the <laughs> It's the epitome of Iowa, honestly, because of the cornfields and the just rolling hills that could either be full of cows grazing or crops growing or hay bales just sitting around. It's it's cool. I love it. And that's the positive side of Ragbri for me. The negative side is obviously that because... Ames is not a huge city. Everyone feels the effects of extra people riding around on bicycles all day. And as courteous as most cyclists are, I will say that because Ames is bike friendly but not necessarily the best place for cyclists I would say that there's always that chance that cyclists are gonna get cut off or that people in cars are going to not see cyclists until the last second and be very irritated that there was this person in their blind spot <laughs> and again cycling is a great thing so I'm not going to hate on that, but I will say we're still adjusting in this town to sharing the road, so sometimes that's something to keep in mind, and currently I would love it if it wasn't holding up a bunch of people every time they try to leave their parking lots. <laughs> but you know, there's nothing we can do about it and they'll be gone tomorrow morning by 9 a.m. so everything will be fine. On a side note, when I was a teenager we had the Ragbri campsite location behind our church because they went through Red Oak and so our church did an event and hosted a bunch of people fed some people did uh, like a musical event thing and I was at the 
Prayer Gazebo, which was not very successful. Now that I look back at it, it really wasn't. <laughs> but it is a memory that will always stand out to me. You could probably Google tent on top of church steeple during Ragbri. And there would probably be a local no news story that would come up about the tent that was not tied down and flew up into the air and landed on our church steeple. Because <laughs> it was on the local news after it happened. It was quite, quite a thing. So, talked for entirely too long about this. But that's okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow.